Thanks, Bren. As you raise a glass this holiday season, you may be wondering which wine to choose. So here to help guide us through the best wines to complement your menu are James and Marissa from Sakonet Vineyard. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining us. I always love chatting with you guys about wine because you really know what you're talking about. So let's start with Turkey Day since most people today will be having turkey. Yep. What wine would you guys say is the best. I've heard different things. I don't know if it matters, if it's red, if it's white, are there rules? Take yeah. me through it. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's two great options to have on the table because not everybody drinks red wine. Yeah. The classic at Thanksgiving, I would say, would be Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a wonderful, it's spicy, it's a little bit um, gamey, and it goes amazingly well with turkey, with gravy, with all the fixings. And for those who aren't big into red, uh, put Chardonnay. Well, for okay. us, we have the Belcourt White, which is a delicious yep. blend of Chardonnay and Vidal. And all of this is grown here on our estate vineyards in Rhode Island. Those are all great ones. And I love that, you know, you can kind of go either way because I think in the past, sometimes people have thought, oh, I have to do this or I have to do that. And I think that wines have kind of evolved. I'm sure you can speak more to that. But, you yeah. know, speaking about your rosé, that is kind of something that can go with a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the Eye of the Storm is great with charcuterie. Uh, you can totally do turkey with the rosé, too. It's kind of versatile. Um, and, yeah, it's pretty in the glass, too. James, why don't you do a yeah, little pour for us? Definitely. I don't trust myself to pour. And as you're doing that, maybe you could talk a little bit about the rosé as well, because I know that you put a lot of thought into it. Yeah. So rosé is... it's. Basically a light colored wine made from red grapes. Sometimes you can blend in a little bit of white as well. And it's always a great way to start the party. You know, yeah. when you receive guests, you can start with a little bubbles or some rosé and uh, get the conversation going. And it's a good, like there you, you go. said, celebratory kind of wine, holiday season. Yeah. And what should we be looking for when we're tasting this? Oh, you have these nice strawberry and kind of cherry notes. And the beautiful thing about rosé is that it's refreshing and light but it's got a little more structure and a little bit more uh, elegance, I would say. I uh, do love a rosé, I have to say, and as, especially like you said, it's light, so you know you don't feel like if you're drinking it during the daytime, if you have dinner in the afternoon during these holidays, that it's something so heavy, which is great. And then yep. going forward through the rest of the season, you know, lots of celebrations going yep. on. What are some of the other wines that you have here today, you know, that people can enjoy and, some, you know, crowd pleasers for everyone? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this time of year is a wonderful time because we're just finishing the harvest, and so we have these young wines. Yeah, tell um, me more about that, because that's kind of synonymous with this time of year, that, that whole Nouveau wine. Yeah, exactly. We brought one today with us, the Nouveau Rouge, the Red Nouveau. Um, and this is really just wine that's just finished fermenting, and mm. so it's still a little bit yeasty and lively. It's a little bit uh, effervescent, even. Yeah. There's a little fizz okay. to it. Um, and it's just kind of a great tradition that stems from uh, Beaujolais, which is just south yeah. of Burgundy in France. Uh, but it's something where if you have a local winery like us here mm. in Rhode Island, uh, you can come down this time of year and you have white Nouvelles, you have red Nouveaux, and um, they're, they're just so much fun to have at the table and to, yeah. and to enjoy. It's a very seasonal thing. Seasonal, celebratory. Mercy, you have a lot going on now that you guys have taken over at the vineyard. Yep. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing there first, and then we'll get into a little bit of what you have coming up during the holiday season, because I know you guys have really been working hard on the wines themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, you know, we've... Uh, we're, we're trying to transition the farm to be a little bit more organic yeah. and sustainable, um, bringing in just more like minimal intervention winemaking practices, which means not like no additives mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, extras into the wine. Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys have done a great job with everything that you've been doing in the short amount of time since you've taken over. And you've added a lot of programming, too. I know you have a lot coming up this holiday season. Can you give us any preview yeah, yeah. of what you have in store? Yeah, of course. Well, tomorrow we have a fun uh, holiday kickoff uh, party at the Vineyard. So from 3 to 5, we're going to have visits with Santa, hot cocoa, mulled wine. Um, and we're also encouraging people to bring an unwrapped toy for the um, Operation Blue Santa, which is Tiverton's um, oh, awesome. toy drive. So. How fun. And you guys, when are you open for folks who might want to come visit throughout the season? Um, from 11 to 7 Thursday through Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and 
Yeah, we're you know we're also doing um, a wreath making class. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do Christmas cookie and wine pairing. So there's going to be other things coming up as well. So stay and, tuned, as we say, because lots of things going on this holiday season. If you want to get festive, thank you so much for bringing these in today and spending yes. your Thanksgiving morning with us. Thank if you, you would like me. to try any of these wines for yourself, you can head to the tasting room at Sakana Vineyard.